Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, in today's video, we'll be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the S10 Plus. And of course, this is the S10 Plus versus the um, S22 Ultra. Now, these are the top of the line flagship for both of their generation. Um, this, the S10, is the older device. And of course, the S22 is the latest device from Samsung. Now, we're comparing these because um, in its time, the S10 is one of the champion devices that most people have. And it's held up over the years versus the S22, which is the new kid on the block that's breaking all of the records for the most part. Now, of course, the S10 um, is outdated in terms of its um, software and so on. However, it has been able to buy Samsung to keep up still with the um, hardware advances of the S22. And we're gonna compare them to see if it's worth upgrading. Now, of course, software wise, I would say at first that the S22 has the better software, but just recently Samsung had released the One UI update, which is which came on the S22. They suddenly gave that um, One UI 4.1 update to the S10 which only improves the sustainability of the S10. Um, and of course, we love that because the software has been updated. Now both are running on similar software. Let me show you the software information to verify that. Now check it out guys, both are running Android um, 12. And of course, as you can see, both are on the March update. And as you can see here, both are on One UI version um, 4.1, which is excellent. Now, of course, both are running the same software, so you do get, for the most part, all of the software features. However, there are some tweaks um, that's included in the S22 Ultra that's not included in the S10. Um, but the fact that they're running the same software is very nice. Also, another um, sore point of the S10 is that the green screen problem that has popped up, and of course, that has happened as of late, that users are getting a green screen that's messing with the overall performance of the device where the screen goes green or pale. Now, um, if you're on the S10, most people refuse to update if they're not having the issue as they, are, they fear that they might get the green screen problem, which might um, destroy their device. Um, this device has the green screen problem. However, I've found a workaround. I've done a video on that. Um, I can't turn up the screen too bright, but of course, um, I'm able to manage the green screen problem. All right, let's look at the external hardware differences. As you can see, this one has the camera on the um, right. You do get two front-facing cameras. This one has the camera in the center. Um, which one is larger? As you can see, the S22 Ultra, which is right here, is much larger compared to the um, S10. So as you can see here, the S10 is much uh, taller and wider. The, sorry, the S22 is much wider and taller while the S10 is smaller. All right, you can check out the lens on the back. Um, the S22 has way more lenses. That includes the zoom lens. And of course, it does very good with up-close photography. All right, so you see that we have way more sensors. Some sensors are missing, such as the heart rate sensor. But of course, the S22 does make up with the nice zoom lens which is very great um, build quality is um, similar and of course as you can see also the software is now um, equal so of course i would say that in terms of value for money the s10 is keeping quite pace with this device all right let's look at some of the things that makes the s22 ultra the um, superior device. Number one, the display. The display is way sharper, and of course, you do get a better quality. Picture quality wise, as well, you'll find that the picture quality is very superior, especially with the ability of the lens to um, zoom. You can go up to 100x zoom, which is much superior to what's capable on this device over here. So I could, if possible, go up all the way to 100x, as you can see. And of course, this works better when you're um, on subjects that are far away. And of course, there's also the wide angle lens that gives you a wider um, angle. And of course, as you can see here, this device can only 
do roughly around um, 10x I think if I'm not mistaken yes 10x well this can do 100x zoom so of course the zooming capability is quite superior on the S22 Ultra you also get more RAM and of course um, the resolution of the display is um, way better um, there are so many differences as well one of these key uh, differences is that the S22 Ultra comes with uh, S Pen. Now the S Pen itself adds a number of features, especially with your ability to write. So you can um, go ahead and write on the screen, which is a feature that comes unique with the um, the um, this series, the S22 Ultra, which is from the Note line. So they have merged the note line with the regular line so you do get all of these s pen features which allow the ability to write on screen as well as the ability to do cool joints all right so you can actually do cool joints with your s pen which is something that's not capable on this you'd have to buy the s pen separately or um, of course get a note line device um, this also makes editing a breeze and of course the s pen comes in handy although in some cases you might not even be willing to use it but the addition of the s pen is a great um, addition that comes along with this um, device also the zoom lens as we mentioned earlier you can do stuff like zoom the moon check out these pictures of the moon that we got from the um, s22 ultra which is capable of um, taking in the moon as you can see it's allowed um, or it's able to zoom up the moon um, you can see very clear shots of the moon which is um, quite awesome so it goes way beyond the 10x zoom up to 100 as we mentioned before and you're able to zoom up the moon you do get um, the embedded fingerprint sensor in the display although the screen protector on these devices tend to mess with the um the overall performance but the same in display fingerprint scanner but of course the one in the um s22 ultra is the superior one and of course as we said the screen protector does mess a bit with that um, otherwise you do get a very solid fingerprint scanner um, you also get more ram and the ability to dedicate a certain amount of um, RAM, virtual RAM. The storage as well, you'll find that this one has the SD card still slot, but this one does not come with a SD card slot, so that's a drawback. And of course, as we said, you do get two cameras here and one camera over here. But of course, on the back of this device, you get more cameras, including the zoom lens. This one you get less. The art rate sensor is also gone. And that's one of the things that you give up. Um, we still are on USB Type-C charge ports, which is quite working out well. Um, the camera is superior on the S22. And of course, the display is way nicer. You do get stuff like extra dim. And of course, there's smart widgets. That's between both, which is software. So the software is basically the same between both devices. All right. So let me just wrap this up and summarize everything up so if you have been on the s10 and of course thinking about upgrading um if you have the money and you definitely want to do an upgrade i would say go ahead it's worth it as you do get a lot of new features that's going to make the upgrade worth it however the s10 is still a champ as it's still holding its space the recent software update which is not rolled out to everyone um, does add to the longevity of the device as you do get all of the editing cool software features of the one ui 4.1 um, one of my favorites is the ability to remove shadows and of course erase objects you do get it on both devices since they're on um, android sorry on one ui 4.1 um, you do get more cameras over here but of course cameras alone are not enough to upgrade um, minus the software glitches that you might develop such as the green screen i would say if you have the s10 and it's working fine i would say you could still hold on to it for a little longer and you could wait until there's deals on the s22 ultra but the s22 ultra is definitely the superior device and worth the upgrade as you do get a lot of cool new features that will make the um, upgrade worth it all right so um, um final thoughts um, if you have the s10 
keep on holding for a little while i would say hold out for a great deal or reduce price of the s22 ultra but overall i would say if you have been holding out for an upgrade it's time to do an upgrade as the s22 ultra is way superior and a perfect replacement um, for the um, s10 so definitely you will not be disappointed by getting the s22 ultra but as i said the s10 is still holding its space and is still a great device and I would say it will continue to be a great device for years to come. Minus the fact that um, if there is, um, the only thing that might kill this is some software glitches, such as the green screen or something worse that might happen. Don't ask me how all of a sudden we got this green screen problem when these devices are working out fine. Um, I guess you could read between the lines and figure out uh, what's going on, but I won't say much more. All right, so I'm going to end it tutorial here. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying um, bye until next time. Bye, guys.